Hi, I'm Natalie Cates, and I'm here in the heart of Soho at the solo show for artist Jason Keeling, entitled Sea Jungle, Sea Jungle, Go Join Your Gang, Yeah. City All Over, Go Ape Crazy. In this webisode, the Jason Keeling you thought you knew, get ready. He really lets you into his world, he lets you into his mind, and I hope you enjoy this webisode as much as I enjoyed doing it and making it. Where's the title come from? Um, the title was appropriated from uh, Malcolm McLaren's um, album. It pretty much was the title of a, um, a Bow Wow Wow um, album. Could you elaborate more on, on the show, its title, and what keeps it cohesive? Well, the show itself, I mean, it's important to mention that the show itself is um, pretty much a coming together or a, um, a crystallization of um, ideas that sort of been working on for literally over 10 years. Um, you may or may not know that I spent, uh, again, quite a few years working in the fashion industry, uh, doing, you know, fast shooting fashion, um, editorial portraits, um, and then in addition to that I had uh, private projects, so I um, worked on, um, in the porn industry, the actually gay hip-hop porn industry, which was very interesting, um, as well as a um, personal project um, that I sort of, that was sort of based in Jamaica, and it sort of dealt with um, my sort of coming to terms with trying to understand and to sort of um, work through my own cult cultural instant, you know, my, just my own cultural background. Jason, is this your first solo show in New York? Um, actually, this is my second solo exhibition. The first was at the uh, Henry Street Settlement on the uh, Lower East Side. Uh, the title of uh, this video is um, The Great Masturbator. The title was um, taken or sort of borrowed. Uh, playfully borrowed from us, Salvador Dali's um, iconic painting. And um, the, the video itself, the video like the rest of the show, plays with perception. Um, and, and also, um, like I mentioned before, it, 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 it references quite a few things. It brings in the elements, again, that uh, I'm familiar with, the fashion, um, pornography, obviously, and um, quite a few other things. But um, it, it's really about a title that's misleading in a sense, and then you sort of form, you sort of thrust into a relationship with two individuals, their, their, their relationship to each other, um, initially seems to, it seems about possibly domination and submission, but then it sort of continues, evolves, and it's about growth and sort of sharing and exchange and transition ultimately. In the piece, I sort of respond to Newark, New Jersey, and the sort of, I've sort of um, assumed the role of not necessarily a martyr, but a, um, just sort of a repository for, you know, just the sort of neglect in, in some ways of, of the sort of community, the sort of confusion, the sort of recovery. Um, and it's funny because it also, you know, there's just a lot... I guess there are a lot of, um, in, in politics now, just the idea of sort of the glitter bomb. Um, but it, it really, um, the materials themselves are symbolic. Um, um, pretty much, you know, there's uh, representative uh, blood and, um, and, and various things and the glitter again. And, um, you know, so it's a sort of play on a heritage, connection to community, a ritual, um, and just about an individual just sort of standing there um, and just bearing and, and, you know, continue. What mechanisms trigger your creative juices? Sure. Um, I, um, my very close friends know and sort of tolerate the fact that I have a very sort of tangential mind. I drift and um, quite a bit. Um, so usually it, it involves a spark. Um, there's usually an initial spark and from there I will Anything from maybe going to the Strand bookstore to looking online, and then it's weird because you can always, or at least I always, I tend to, um, if I, f I may find something on Wikipedia, I may find uh, something in a book. It, it, it's all very coincidental. It, it's almost as if the, f the things I sort of think about or the things that are I'm really sort of feeling at any given time, 
things automatically, I guess this is where this might, may sound strange to some people, but um, things have a way of sort of coming into your life. What do you enjoy doing the most, or does it change? Honestly, I think the thing that um, all of my works have in common, uh, from the, you know, the, 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 work, the use of glitter and the photography and the painting, essentially it's, it's, it's playing with light. Um, I, I consider light my main instrument and tool, and um, it's the thing I'm most familiar with. And I think the, 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 the process and the materials and the media are pretty much all secondary. Um, I like the flexibility and I enjoy moving between the, uh, the media um, uh, pretty much because it, it represents a challenge. Um, it's really important for me that my work is challenging and that, I, I, that there's some resistance and there's some, that there's a challenge. And so glitter is obviously very difficult to sort of control and maneuver and, and sort of use just generally. And, you know, photography, my, my, I pretty much began, I'm self-taught, so I pretty much began in shooting 35 millimeter and then went very quickly, also self-taught, to uh, two and a quarter, which is a medium format, up to, towards the end of, you know, sort of shooting fashion, I was shooting 8x10. And so even with the 8x10 camera, it was really about, you know, again, the process, that process involves a very large, sort of unwieldy sort of camera um, with a reversed and also backwards image. It's important that I, or at least I enjoy situations where there's some give and take with my model, my environment, the context, everything's open, but I enjoy the challenge. I think the challenge brings the best out of me. I love the fact that this piece, you have to look twice to actually see that there's some type of script and some type of typography within it. And I think why I like this one so much is because it, to me, reminds me a little bit like Jason because Jason, as you peel the layers away, as you'll see in this interview, it more becomes apparent than what's on the surface. That's my assumption of the piece, and of, and of his glitter pieces that, that have the hidden messages, that under the right circumstances, under the right light, as Jason says in our interview, how he loves to play with light, you can actually then, then read it. it. It also, it's kind of some type of code uh, that is embedded within the piece. I love the reference to kind of 70s kind of b-boy culture and, and the reference to actually, to actually, you know, this urban youth kid but reading a manual on Warhol, on, on art. Can, can you tell us a little bit about this piece? I think of all the pieces in the show, and it was brought to my attention during a, um, a talk I gave um, at the gallery um, um, uh, with uh, Greg Tate and uh, Richard Blint, that um, this is actually more of a self-portrait, um, only because Greg Tate thought it was interesting that here you have a, um, a person of color, and he's reading. It's something we don't see often. We should see it more often. Obviously, it happens, but it also speaks of a kind of leisure. One of my favorite pieces in your show is the old school boombox. No, thank you. With that being said, what what's on your playlist when oh, you're creating I'm art? I'm a huge uh, Prince, Prince fan. A Prince, <laughs> Prince fan. Um, I enjoy uh, Nina Simone, uh, Miles Davis, um, Nicki Minaj, Public Enemy, Stockhausen, um, Charles Mingus, Joni Mitchell, Leonard Cohen. It, it, whatever suits the mood, whatever, you know, aligns everything, you know, from the work to the environment, um, and, and, you know, so it's, it, it plays a very, it's a very important part. What are some words that you could use that would describe your work? Um, I think pretty much two words come to mind. Um, confrontational and seductive. Yeah, brown, 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 brown.